Welcome to the Hallowed Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, Top 5 Lies Society Tells Women That Hurt Men Too. But before embarking on an expedition, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me to subscribe and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's cut through the BS and get real about the top five lies society tells women. We're taking these from five to one, the absolute worst offenders at the end. This isn't about sparing feelings. It's about straight talk backed by some hard facts. Let's dive in. Lie number five. You can manifest success through positive thinking alone. Starting us off is the feel-good myth peddled by self-help gurus and social media influencers alike. The idea that you can manifest success simply through positive thinking. While having a positive mindset is crucial, it's not a substitute for hard work, skills, and sometimes a bit of luck. Success doesn't come from wishful thinking. Dr. Carol Weck's research on growth mindset highlights the effort and the perseverance are key to achieving goals. You can dream all you want, but you're just daydreaming without action. This lie can lead women to overlook the importance of putting in the necessary work and developing their skills. They might end up disappointed when their dreams don't materialize simply because they rely too much on good vibes and not enough effort. Lie number four. Mr. Right will appear when the time is right. Next up is the fairy tale spun by countless rom-coms, romance novels, and TikTok dating coaches. The idea that Mr. Right will just show up one day without any effort is a comforting thought, but it's about as realistic as a Yeti riding a unicorn and coming to your birthday party. Finding a compatible partner usually requires intentional effort. Sitting back and waiting for destiny to deliver the perfect match is like expecting to win the lottery without buying a ticket. Believing this lie can lead women to be passive in their search for a partner, missing out on opportunities to meet great guys. As relationship expert Matthew Hussey puts it, love is something that we actively create through our actions, not something that passively happens to us. According to a 2017 study published in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships, proactive dating behavior increases the likelihood of finding a compatible partner significantly. Relying on fate alone can lead to missed opportunities and prolonged singleness. Lie number three. If he doesn't want you, it's his problem. This one is a double-edged sword. On one hand, self-esteem is critical, but on the other, repeated relationship failures might indicate there's something that needs fixing in you. Sometimes, if relationships consistently fail, it's worth looking inward, self-reflection and personal growth are essential for building successful relationships. 
Ignoring this can lead to repeating the same mistakes. The same mistakes. The same mistakes. Okay, you get the point. This lie can prevent women from recognizing and addressing personal issues that might be sabotaging their relationships. Dr. John Gottman's research emphasizes the importance of self-awareness and emotional intelligence in successful relationships. Lie number two. Women peak in their 30s and 40s. This myth needs a serious reality check. While it's true that many women come into their own professionally and personally during these decades, the notion that this is their peak across all aspects of their life can be misleading. Fertility and certain physical attributes associated with youthfulness decline with age. This isn't about diminishing the achievements of women in their 30s and 40s, but acknowledging biological realities. Believing this lie can lead women to postpone important decisions or important life decisions, such as starting a family, under the false assumption that they have plenty of time to do so. Statistics show that fertility significantly decreases after age 35 and chances of complication increase. According to the American Society for Reproductive Medicine, a woman's fertility starts to decline in her late 20s with a significant drop after age 35. By age 40, the chance of getting pregnant each month is less than 5%. Fertility treatments are expensive and not always successful, with IVF success rates dropping from 32% for women under 35 to 16% for women aged 38 to 40. Now, there's often discussion about this thing called the wall. The wall, in a sense, can be a real thing if you're still in the dating market competing with other women. However, it is not an all-encompassing binary thing. There are elements that go into it. A wall for one woman at 30 may not apply to her situation for another woman at 32, 33, 34, 35. Lie number one, women can be as sexually promiscuous as men without consequences. Here's the big one, the most detrimental lie of all. Society likes to push the idea that sexual equality means women can be as promiscuous as men without any fallout. The harsh reality is different. Studies have shown that having a high number of sexual partners is correlated with a higher divorce rate and lower marital satisfaction, particularly in women. This isn't about 304 shaming. It's about understanding the emotional and psychological impacts of such behavior. This lie can lead to emotional distress relationship issues, and a sense of emptiness. In 2011, a study published in the Archives of Sexual Behavior found that women with more than five sexual partners had significantly lower marital satisfaction. Promiscuity can also impact a woman's reputation and the way a potential long-term partner or partners will view her. According to a 2016 study from the Institute of Family Studies, women who have had more than five sexual partners before marriage are 80% more likely to divorce compared to women with fewer partners. The psychological toll is also substantial. The social repercussions are equally telling. A survey by Pew Research in 2019 indicated 
that 70% of men consider a woman's sexual history as an important factor when evaluating them for long-term potential partnership. Additionally, a report from the National Center of Health Statistics in 2015 found that women with a higher number of sexual partners were more likely to experience mental health issues, including depression and anxiety. These statistics paint a clear picture. Promiscuity can have far-reaching consequences that go beyond the immediate physical and emotional impacts. So there you have it. The top five lies that society tells women are laid bare. It's crucial for both men and women to see through the myths and approach relationships and life with a clear, informed perspective. We all benefit when everyone makes decisions based upon reality and not fantasy. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up and a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people and this support helps me make more content for you.